plates of the Earth are separated, earthquakes happen. The surface where these two plates get separated is known as the fault plane, or the fault. The place or the location under the Earth's surface where the earthquake begins is known as the hypocenter. The location or the space above the surface of an earthquake is known as the epicenter. Moreover, a few times when an earthquake happens, it has four shocks too. The minor earthquakes occur in the same location as that of the larger earthquake which follows. The researchers cannot tell whether an earthquake is a foreshock or not until the bigger earthquake occurs. The biggest earthquake, that is the main earthquake, is known as the main shock. The fact is that main shocks always have aftershocks. Aftershocks are the minor or smaller earthquakes that happen in the same location as the main shock afterward. Aftershocks could continue happening for weeks, months, or even years after the main shock. Earthquakes are disasters that are caused by nature. These natural disasters have taken the lives of millions of people. Improvements in technology have reduced the earthquake's disastrous effects a little bit. But still, the earthquake's disastrous effects affect the lives of many people. China's Earthquake, January 23rd As far as the strongest earthquakes are concerned, History has witnessed some of the strongest and biggest earthquakes. Humans have witnessed some of the worst earthquakes that have hit the world and shattered each and everything. The deadliest earthquake that has ever been witnessed is considered China's earthquake that occurred on January 23rd in 1556 AD. This massive earthquake that hit the Shanxi state and destroyed it completely. This quake took the lives of more than 830,000 people. However, the exact number of casualties is unknown, but still, that earthquake in China is considered the worst one by far because of the fatalities the disaster caused. 22nd of May, 1960, Chile, magnitude 9.5. The biggest and strongest earthquake in the world hit on May 22nd in 1960 in Chile. This earthquake's aftermath was heart-wrenching because it took 4,485 lives while 2 million people were severely injured. It is considered the deadliest earthquake in the world. The magnitude of this earthquake was 9.5. Puerto Saavedra's port was demolished in the following tidal wave that resulted in $550 million worth of harm in Chile and killed a further 170 people as 5-meter waves hit the coast of Japan and the Philippines. A day later, Volcan Puyahu in Chile's Lake District spewed ash 6,000 meters into the air in an eruption that lasted several weeks. 28th of March, 1964, Prince William Sound, Alaska, magnitude 9.2. Other than that, on March 28th in 1964, another strongest earthquake hit the Prince William Sound, Alaska, with a magnitude of 9.2. Alaska's gulf was devastated by the Prince William Sound earthquake that caused landslides in Anchorage and raised parts of outlying islands as much as 11 meters. The resulting tsunami reached heights of 67 meters as it swept into the shallow Valdez Inlet and was responsible for most of the 128 deaths and $311 million worth of damage. The massive water displacement was felt as far away as the Louisiana Gulf Coast and registered on tidal gauges in Puerto Rico. 26th of December, 2004, off the west coast of southern Sumatra, magnitude 9.1. Another very strong earthquake hit northern Sumatra on December 26th in 2004, which caused a tsunami and affected many areas. The magnitude of this earthquake was 9.1. The death-dealing wave was felt in 14 nations across Asia and East Africa, triggered by a megathrust since the Indian structural plate was constrained underneath the Burmese plate. Indonesia was believed to be the most terrible influence country, with an expected 170,000 deaths. A great number of the casualties' bodies were missing. Indonesia was the worst affected, with an estimated 170,000 of the nearly 230,000 dead. With many of the victims' bodies missing, the eventual death toll took a month to establish. Some of the world's poorest communities lost more than 60% of their fishing and industrial infrastructure. The 4th of November, 1952, Kamchatka, magnitude 9. 
Another of the strongest earthquakes was reported in Kamchatka on November 4th in 1952. The magnitude of this deadly earthquake was recorded as 9. The epicenter of the earthquake was a Russian volcanic landmass, but it was the Hawaiian Islands that took the brunt of the wave, resulting in $1 million of damage as waves caused the scouring of the coastline, ripping boats from their moorings and, in Honolulu Harbor, lifting a cement barge before throwing it down onto a freighter. No deaths were recorded unless you count the six cows lost by one unfortunate Ohio farmer, who was left cursing an event that had occurred more than 3,000 miles away. The 13th of August, 1868, Arica, Peru, now part of Chile. Magnitude 9 Besides that event, Hawaii also felt a strong earthquake on August 13th in 1868, in Arica. It had an estimated magnitude of 8.5 and 9.0. The earthquake occurred along the boundary between the Nazca Plate and the South American Plate. The earthquake caused almost complete destruction in the southern part of Peru, including Arica, Tacna, Moquigua, Molendo, Ilo, Iquique, Torada, and Arquipa, resulting in an estimated 25,000 casualties and many shipwrecks. The tsunami caused considerable damage in Hawaii, washing out a bridge along the Waiohai River. In New Zealand, it is the only fatal tsunami on record, causing substantial damage on the Chatham Islands, and an estimated 20 people washed out to sea. The quake was felt quite distant all the way in La Paz in Bolivia. Although this event generated a tsunami that was noted across the Pacific, most of the associated damage was localized along the coasts of southern Peru. The first wave arrived in Arica 52 minutes after the earthquake, with a 12-meter, 39-foot height, followed by the largest 16-meter, 52-foot wave 73 minutes later. 26th of January, 1700, North Pacific Coast of America, magnitude 9, estimated. Another of the worst earthquakes that hit the world was on January 6th in 1700. The center of this earthquake was in the North Pacific shore in America, where it's estimated the magnitude to be 9. This earthquake is to believe to be the only strongest earthquake that ever hit North America. The greatest quakes on the continent come from the oral history of the local Americans around Vancouver Island, which describes how the large community of Pachina Bay was wiped out by a huge wave. Across the Pacific, the quake was accurately recorded by Japanese observers of the large tsunami that struck Japan on the 27th of January, 1700. The power of that inundation has been used by historians and seismologists to pinpoint the magnitude of the Vancouver quake. 27th of February, 2010, off Bio Bio, Chile. Magnitude 8.8. The region around Concepcion, has been recorded as a center for seismic shocks since the 16th century, but few have been as devastating as the early morning quake that generated a Pacific-wide tsunami and cost the lives of 521 people. With a further 12,000 injured and more than 800,000 left homeless, Chile was left reeling at the scale of a disaster that would cost the nation $30 billion by the end of 2010. 13th of January, 1906, Coast of Ecuador, Magnitude 8.8 Resulting from the ocean off Ecuador and Colombia, the quake generated a tsunami that killed between 500 and 1,500 people along a coastline from Central America to San Francisco. To the west in Hawaii, rivers suddenly drained about 12 hours after the first shocks, then were submerged as a series of successively larger waves flooded the coast. 1st of November, 1755, Lisbon Magnitude 8.7 On November 1st in 1755, another of the strongest earthquakes shattered this planet. This time, the center of the planet was Lisbon, and the magnitude was recorded to be approximately 8.7. This deadly earthquake shattered the whole city and destroyed each street of Lisbon. It proved to be deadly for Lisbon as it took the lives of quarter of the city's residents. This earthquake caused a tsunami and fire felt in North Africa. France, and northern Italy. In the Age of Enlightenment, the cultural impact of the quake spread even further afield as the horrors of Lisbon provided inspiration for sensationalist artworks and philosophical tracts. Voltaire penned a poem on the catastrophe, and scientists found a wealth of first-hand written accounts to advance their understanding of the physical world. 
15th of August, 1950. Assam, Tibet. Magnitude 8.6. Other than that, another deadly earthquake that hit the world whose center was Assam, Tibet. This was one of the strongest earthquakes that hit Tibet. With the magnitude of this Assam, Tibet earthquake was reported to be 8.6. This massive earthquake spread horror among the people as it took the lives of hundreds. In addition to this, many villagers disappeared after the massive earthquake hit the country, where more than 70 villages got destroyed and vanished from the map after another massive earthquake. The quake was followed by severe flooding, and eight days after the first tremors, a natural dam on the Subansiri River burst, releasing a seven-meter wall of water against nearby villages. Near the epicenter of the quake, witnesses mentioned explosive sounds, that seemed to come from high in the air, while seismologists as far away as England and Norway noted oscillations in lakes.